Oh, hello. I want to do a vlog talking about something I'm having fun doing at the moment. It is, um, oh wait, I'll just talk it through it in chronological order. Basically, uh, a few days ago my sister mentioned that, um, oh, in the newspaper you can, um, buy a newspaper and then get, like, a roll dial book for $2.60 or something like that, and then, um, she's like, oh, I'll go get it. And so she got it, and she got, like, it cut the first one comes with a box, and then you get, she got two books with it. And so, this was the box. You make the box as well, it comes out in like this flat piece of paper and you follow the instructions and you fold it and stick it and it's so cool. As in like, it looks really cool. Like this box, so we folded it and stuck it. And it's got like even a little bit of Velcro to clo when you close it. How cool is that? And it has a little handle. <laughs> how awesome, and it tells you what books are coming up. It's so, so nice and shiny. I just love how like it's so um, cool, cool. And so, after she got it, I was like, oh, because I think they were running it for like two weeks or something like that. But um, we found out about it like on day eight or day seven or something like that. So it was halfway through. Um, so I was like, I'm going to go every morning to um, the, the supermarket Woolworths because that's in conjunction with the Herald Sun um, to get it. And so every day before work, for the last two days before work, I went a bit earlier to work. And I would stop by the supermarket, grab the paper, and then the and then the book. And um, uh, it was funny. The first day I went, I was like, um, I said to the girl at the, at the counter, like, "Oh, is, you know, is this is it still all right? Like, do they still have them in in the afternoon, like um, end of the day?" And then she's like, "No, the, that's all that's left there now." And there was only like I would say about ten books or so. And that was like eight thirty in the morning. So I thought, oh, okay, I'm not going to risk it anymore. I'm still going to go in the morning. Uh, Eight thirty at the latest. So the next day I got there even earlier, I think, and you know it was like more more in there. But so um, yeah, so it's so cool. What I really like about it. Uh, and today, like, I had a day off, and I still went to the supermarket to, to grab a, a paper and the latest book. It was good because I really wanted it because um the last book was Danny the Champion of the World Part One, as in they split it into Part One, right? So that I was happy with that. But then I was like, I don't want a half a book, so so. I, we had part two, yes, complete. <laughs> but um, it's cool. And the next one, next, tomorrow's one is gonna be like a roll dial quiz or something like that, which should be a lot of fun. Um, it's so fun. Like these books are awesome. I really like the feel of it. It's like nice and smooth and shiny and stuff like that. Um, oh, besides this, uh, I want to say Roald Dahl is like probably my favorite author. I just love his writing style. It, as a kid, um, oh, it's hard to say he's my favourite, like, you know, there's a couple that are really, really up there, but he's really, really close to being the favourite. Um, this, whoever did, like, I love his writing style, and also him paired with Quentin Blake. Quentin Blake's my favourite children's book illustrator. I just love his drawings, they're so cool. Ever since a kid, um, they're so much fun. And those two go so well together, I think everyone agrees with that. Um, and so when you get Quentin Blake, um, you know, pictures on the front, Things like that, and Roald Dahl books. I'm like, I gotta do it. Gotta go get them. <laughs> um, yeah, I never realized how short some of these books are. Like Fantastic Mr. Fox is so short, but yeah, really good. I mean, when when you're a kid, it just seemed longer. I don't know. I like it. Um, these whoever designed this set is really, really they really understand it. I think they just, you know, um, they really get what Roald Dahl is about. Fun, easy to, you know. Um, Get, get into because I, I was reading watching some interviews with Roald Dahl and he said um he just wants his books to be like not intimidating kids to make them you know enjoy reading you know like that's what he wants he doesn't care like what the topics are of, of his books so much as in like he just wants them to be not scary like as in like kids can easily read them and, and enjoy them um and so that, and that's true he really did a successful job on that um so that's that. And I think one of the books was uh, Roald Dahl's Mischief and Mayhem. I'd never heard of that. I think it's like a, almost like an activity book or something, but it's just so fun. I don't know if he wrote it or not, but it is so much fun. I really enjoy it. So I'm having a blast collecting these. Like in the morning I was at the, um, in Springvale, uh, and it's like, oh, I don't know. Just, I find the collecting part fun. Like, I mean, I easily could just like click a button and buy like the whole set of like, um, Roald Dahl books, you know, but then it wouldn't be the same. I just like the idea of collecting them and putting them in this little box. I mean, I won't get the full set because I didn't start when it first started, so I'm probably missing a couple. Um, but still, I'm pretty enjoy I'm enjoying it. And, um, and I think um, I was reading, 
I was reading with my sister, um, Fantastic Mr. Fox, the other day, and um, it was just so much fun to read. Like, it's just so. I love how it's kind of brief, quick, but really, it's just great. And Roald Dahl actually said that he always had this fear of um, people getting bored reading his books, so he always made them as short as he could, as concisely as he could. And so I think that's a nice thing, like when he, with his writing style, it doesn't blubber on much at all. It gets to the point really quickly. Anyways, I, that's all I want to say. That I love Roald Dahl and Quentin Blake, and I'm enjoying this set. And whoever made, whoever worked on this set, um, you guys did a good job because it's really good, really really fun. It's awesome. All right.